Hello people, what is going on? Welcome back to the channel. This is Sonin and today we're gonna review the Vickers 3. Uh, it's a tier 10 British medium tank which uh, I believe is gonna be available for the assembly shop but I might be wrong. So it can be also Clan Wars reward or some kind of uh, mission marathon or whatever. It it's gonna be the case but it is that time of the year whenever uh, they are adding a brand new tier 10 to super test for september october when it's gonna be the assembly shop so i kind of am like a 50 50 whether this is gonna be an upcoming um uh, what is this gonna be assembly shop vehicle but uh, obviously i might be mistaking the vehicle might not be joining the live server so watch this video just for entertainment purposes and just you know to if you see it on the battlefield so you know what is this vehicle all about but let's begin the video let's begin the review i'm going to compare the the vickers 3 to the centurion action 10 which is um uh well i guess the only good tier 10 british medium well, i guess the um, wheel version as well but the centurion is just more reliable, has much better DPM, has much better handling, I guess, has much better uh, turret armor and uh, overall better survivability and playstyle. But uh, over here on top of that we also have a Vickers 3 which only has a turbo to match the mobility but obviously we're going to talk about the firepower then again handling then we're going to drop down to mobility. But the firepower we can see that um, this upcoming tier 10 british medium tank which i guess is gonna be what is the state of reward or something has tiny touch less dpm than the centurion by roughly 200 dpm which is like half around a minute obviously they are having the same 390 alpha damage the same 268 penetration and i guess the same 330 hit with uh, 480 hash so they're pretty much using the same identical gun but uh, with the same shell velocity on apcr which is just uh, incredible once again i forget to mention like 330 hit which is very nice for a medium here for a medium tank and on top of that first thing that uh, is kind of lackluster except the tpm it is the ammo capacity for whatever reason this tank carries only 50 rounds whereas the centurion carries 68 where obviously you can take like uh, more more he shells if you really want to you know annoy the uh, hold down heavy tanks but i guess it's not a point breaker but uh, just you know it has like less dpm less ammunition and pretty much that's all about the firepower it's just like a copy paste uh, gun with tiny touch um, improvements or actually deprovements uh, in terms of gunling we can see that the gun is actually much better than the centurion well it's not much better it's just tiny touch better like tiny touch better aiming time and uh, kind of a margin dispersion and on top of that there is uh, oh wait actually no that's obviously it's double so um, you have tiny touch better dispersion whenever the gun is damaged but other than that it is the same uh, accuracy whenever you are moving it is the same obviously bloom whenever you turn a tank and whenever you turn a turret but for whatever reason your um, reticle is going to be tiny touch smaller after you fire but obviously you don't really you're not an autoloader so this um, after firing uh, dispersion is not really um, like a big deal so yeah but what you have is 20 degrees of gun elevation and 10 degrees of gun depression which is very very comfortable uh, obviously for your irritatable turret but now let's jump into the mobility as you can see stock has 50 km an hour top speed and um, uh, what do you have 25 reverse width which is just tiny touch better i mean you're going five um fast actually five slower forward than the centurion but you're going five uh, faster than centurion in reverse on top of that if you just put the turbo charge into the mobility slot i guess you have identical uh, fire actually identical uh, power to aid ratio and identical top speed which i guess um, identical or close to identical um, top speed so yeah let's uh, take the vickers out with a turbo and let's just uh, compare them side by side just like that so as you can see stock the vehicle has tiny touch less power to aid ratio and obviously the five kilometer an hour less speed uh, but um, considering at what cost you are 39 ton which means you cannot really ram anything you can like 
um, try to run away actually you can run light tanks but obviously you're still gonna take a lot of damage in return so you are if the centurion action team is gonna ram you it's not gonna be really nice for you uh, but uh, on top of that you have the same ground resistance so it's not a big deal they are pretty much nearly identical in terms of ability other than the fact that i mentioned obviously the five kilometer uh, disparity that I guess you can get them back through a field ball. I mean those are what are those support mediums but obviously whenever you're, go you're gonna set it up uh, we're gonna take a look at that but in terms of armor this is the big disappointment this time gets only 60 millimeter of Halama whereas the Centurion gets 121 of Halama which is still low but uh, obviously you can still deflect some uh, high penetration HE like from um, 150 to 155 millimeter caliber rounds uh, 30 millimeters of side armor which means you cannot really side scrape whereas you, with the Centurion action then you can side scrape if you're careful and the rear armor is just um, is just not existent so artillery whenever it's gonna splash your rear is gonna deal significant out amount of damage but is the vehicle is the vehicle gonna be a chieftain on a ridge but by looks of it no the turret armor is only 80 millimeters whereas the centurion even with 254 is still getting easily penetratable versus um obviously high penetration star armors but the centurion action 10 uh, if you can make it work and you know how to play it hold down the vehicle itself has kind of a sturdy turret so yeah, without 80, with uh, 80 millimeters, you are pretty much like a leopard in um, in um, better shape of form. Uh, on top of that, you have uh, 50 less hit points, and by the looks of it, kind of the same uh, health, uh, engine health, engine actually track health, and so on and so forth. And on top of that, you have tiny touch better concealment which is uh, i guess it's gonna help you a bit if, if you don't really have the armor but um, <laughs> obviously I'll, I'll rather have the armor rather than uh, the concealment and on top of that you are getting set on fire less with the vickers uh by five percent less which is like a one in one in six chances or one in seven chances whereas with the centurion it's a one in um 1 in 5th but obviously you don't really get set on fire that often because people cannot really flank you because you are a medium tank so um, yeah by first opinion do I think the vehicle is um, gonna be interesting I mean like I'll still rather pick the Centurion Action 10 but if this vehicle is gonna be an assembly shop and you'll have to spend like 100 million credits on it I'll just you know skip it like I do usually but obviously if you're a tank corrector then you should go ahead and get it because it's a collector you will you will never get it once again as wargaming style but um, honestly i don't really recommend spending millions of um, credits and millions of gold on tanks that are just uh, you know over there for the wells to spend 300 euro actually to waste too much 300 let's say 150 150 euro or 150 dollar to get yourself a tank that is just a uh, pixel on uh, on a game but yeah obviously it's just my opinion you can do whatever you want i'm i'm just trying to be as transparent as possible and uh, yeah let's see how we can set it up actually let's take a look at the armor model so um you have a 40 millimeter cupola which is gonna be very interesting to see how uh people are gonna like if you load hash oh even with hash you can penetrate yourself frontally uh, with 105 millimeter which is uh, yeah which is gonna be very interesting so um like badger tortoises are gonna love you fe's are gonna love you pretty much like everything that and uh, looks like an sta1 if you ask me um do you have a hydro hydro pneumatic suspension by looks of it no you don't so only 10 degrees of gun depression and whenever you use it you still um i mean you still have a big chunky cupola and uh, obviously you still get uh, penetrated anywhere with uh, hit rounds so um, yeah it's not really <laughs> he's not really gonna survive that long uh, but yeah you're a sniper tank which uh, means which wait what, what happened here which means um, you need to improve your firepower accuracy and uh, your st stealthiness if i can say so so uh, what do you have over here? What do you want? Uh, tiny touch better dispersion of a gun. Um, tiny touch better accuracy. 
okay, two kilometer an hour reverse for what is that concealment i'll go actually for the concealment because the vehicle has really good reverse speed uh i think i'll go for a scouting build i guess uh, rather than survivability for only for like open maps where you can use an um, exhaust but on top of that why will i use this when I, whenever i can use the um, the bounty when i actually go go for survivability slot next we go for what do we go for better aiming time or better i think we're gonna go for uh, better accuracy rather than the reload or what do you go for um no, i think we're gonna go for obviously for the accuracy because it's a sniper so you want to really connect your shell but obviously you can pick loading mechanism tuning if you really want to obviously go for it but it's um it's a big margin so i'll still go for better accuracy uh yet once again for zero from 0 0.3 to 0 0.27 it's still not really a big difference so i'll rather go for the damage build i guess who knows or maybe neither of those but yeah next uh, you want to go for aiming speed or engine power i guess we're gonna go for engine power yeah just like that we're gonna have part pretty much part on part mobility with um, um, with the centurion even though we don't really have the top speed to do so okay that's the film ones for the moment i um, are looking very nice i guess we're gonna go for a turbo just because obviously you don't have any armor and you have to uh, move around the map fairly quick a gun rammer to increase the dpm and last but not least what do we go actually we're gonna put um, uh, hardening and gun rammer uh, those are gonna be desirable for a city map but uh, other than that you can either go for an um, bound exhaust so you get yourself better concealment like once you put yourself camouflage pattern slam concealment recon situational awareness snapshot and other um, obviously because this thing it's a reward you can put your best um, crew in as so yeah as you can see whenever you are putting all whenever things are adding up you get up to 35 moving concealment with an uh, exhaust which is gonna be for such a um, you know glass cannon tank i guess that's gonna be fairly good in his favor so uh, yeah on top of that you have a really nice 6.66 second reload i mean yeah the tank it's uh, whenever you start to um, fully pump it up it's still it's starting to look tiny touch better but uh, as you can see you get 463 meters view range with pudding and tea um, so i guess it's gonna be an interesting vehicle but um, once again i will still rather pick the centurion action 10 because i feel like the tank is just um, it's more usable on any kind of situation you have once again better survivability then touch better dpm then touch better mobility at the cost of um, I guess 1% concealment that you don't really feel that much at tier 10 so um, yeah who am I to judge this was the video review for the Vickers MTB Mark 3 uh, upcoming who knows what probably as I mentioned assembly shop or new clan wars Evor, but I don't really feel like it's gonna be clan wars Evor because the tank is just you know not uh, not really specific in any way but obviously i can uh, i can be wrong so uh, let me know what do you think about the vehicle and i'll see you legends around with um, obviously the other vehicles that i mentioned into my um, what tanks are being tested on the battlefield on the live server so see you soon legends bye bye